Can I ask you about LGBTQ? There seems to be uh, the global south, a lot of it, resents uh, Western morals, values, uh, rights when it comes to LGBTQ. They say that, you know, why should they abide, and I'm talking about yourself as well, by Western notions of, of rights. And that also came up in the, uh, the, the World Cup, heavy-handed attempts to get people not to fly the rainbow flag, et cetera, et cetera. And there's a feeling that it's a bit of a sort of a don't ask, don't tell situation in Qatar. But people live scared. LGBTQ people live scared in your region, all over the Gulf region. I mean, it's not very modern, that. What's, what, what, is, what is wrong? You know, you've already said that a Muslim country shouldn't be afraid of women, shouldn't be afraid of, you know, all these other things, and you're not. What is it going to take to make LGBTQ accepted, given their rights, and treated like other people? Well, there are, uh, I, I think that, uh, first of all, uh, this debate and argument that's not happening on what's so-called Global South only. It's happening even in the West, happening in America, it's happening elsewhere. It's, it's everywhere. But that doesn't make it right. Just to, uh, to finish my point here, uh, Qatar is a country that uh, uh, our society uh, likes to preserve the tradition and they are very proud about their faith. And this is something not acceptable in our faith. Uh, comparing that to the women participating in the community, this is, uh, uh, this is different. Uh, uh, there is nothing in our faith that preventing women. Uh, no, but the Kandahari uh, say there is, so you uh, know, it's, uh, it's used. It's their right? interpretation, uh, but it's in, in, in what we know and what we know in our uh, history that we are proud of. But do you of, agree that, that these people have a right to be safe? Just uh, and uh, none of them, uh, safety, their safety being subject, you know, as long as they are respecting the law in, in public areas, no one, their, their safety is in question. I mean, you don't see hate crimes happening in Qatar because of LGBT or because of this or because of that. Uh, look at Qatar history track record in the last 50 years. And just compare it to any other country in Europe. You can see hate crimes in Europe against LGBT in thousands last year happening in some modern European countries. I won't name them. In Qatar was zero. What we are saying is these are our, our, our law, uh, laws, our rules, our culture. Anyone who wants to come here, he's welcome as long as he respected, as they expect from us and the Qatari people to respect their laws and their norms. I mean, we are walking uh, in Europe and in, in the Western country. If we did something to disrespect uh, uh, their laws, we, we say to our people that you will be held accountable for that because your job there is to respect the country, the host country that you are in. And that's what we, what we expect from the others.